Stanford's homecoming day ends with a 24-10 win as the Cardinal defense stunned Brett Hundley and the UCLA offense. Highlights right now. Huge Pac-12 ramifications in the 85th meeting between number 13 Stanford and 9th ranked UCLA. The Cardinal has won five straight versus the Bruins, trying to bounce back after a tough loss in Utah. No score late in the first quarter. Kevin Hogan finds Devin Kajus. Kajus averaging nearly 20 yards a catch this season. 24-yard gain gets Stanford into the red zone. Three plays later, Conrad Ukropina filling in for an injured Jordan Williamson. First career field goal attempt is 31 yards, and it's good. Stanford leads 3-0. Second quarter, Brett Hundley limited to only 37 yards passing in the first half. Third and seven, nobody open, and he's stuffed by Shane Scove. Stanford D playing top down today. Same score with 40 seconds left in the first half. Stanford on UCLA's 23. Hogan rolls left and fits one to Kajus, but the ball pops off his chest, and Ishmael Adams picks it off. Bruins D coming up big. They go into the half down 3-0 third quarter. This is why NFL scouts like Hundley. He's a dynamic athlete. Third and seven avoids pressure and he's going to take off for the first down and more. 30-yard gain into Stanford territory. Two plays later, Hundley didn't know he got an invite to a party in the backfield. Shane Scove takes out two Bruins to get the sack. Kaimi Fairbairn would kick a 38-yard field goal. We're tied at three. Stanford back on offense. Hogan finds Stanford's most dangerous playmaker. Ty Montgomery, he is going to take some Bruins along for the ride. 29-yard gain into Bruins territory. That would set up this insane play. Second and 18, Hogan throws a deep post into double coverage, but Cody Whitfield makes this indescribable catch in traffic. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Stanford now up 10-3. Can UCLA respond to a play like that? Hundley wants to fade, but Jordan Richards is there for the INT, and he's going to make a house call. But a holding penalty on Stanford would take them back to the UCLA 40. Moments later, second and goal. Give it to the great Gaffney. Ty Gaff up the gut, barely gets the ball over the plane, and that TD is Gaffney's eighth of the season. Cardinal with the biggest lead of the game, 17-3. Late in the third, Hunley and company would put together the longest drive of the game. Devin Fuller on the catch for 16 yards. UCLA finally in the red zone. Fourth quarter, two plays later on first and goal. Hunley rolls left, finds Shaquille Evans open in the end zone. Hunley a perfect 8 for 8 on that 11 play, 75 yard drive. Bruins trail 17 to 10. So UCLA still has a chance. Third and 10 for Hunley. Throws down the middle, but his receiver slips, and Jordan Richards is hungry for more. Second pick of the game, and time is running out. And Tyler Gaffney punches it in for his second TD. 36 carries for a buck 71. Three touches away from breaking Toby Gearhart's single game record. Stanford win 24 to 10. It's huge. It's huge. And I alluded to it last week. It still goes back to third downs. If we can convert some on third downs, we can stay on the clock and run the ball with efficiency. We have a chance to do what we want to do, which is run the ball between the tackles. And Gaffney at 220 pounds, uh, you know, we tried to spell him. I spelled him with other, but three other running backs at different times. He looked at me in the fourth quarter and said, Coach, I ain't tired. I said, we're not taking out anymore. We left him in there, let him finish the game.